Welcome everyone to the Completely Confused Dungeoneer. By request of a dear friend, I am trying to do an OBS. How to work it. It's not a bad recording software. So first thing you're going to want to do, in my opinion, come to, well if you're on Windows, come to this PC, right click it, and click this button. And you're going to want, if you're like gaming and heavy editing, 16 or 32 gigabyte of RAM is pretty well worth your time. The processor, I don't know too much about that, so Horizon 5, Horizon 3, whatever. They need to be up there. And at least one terabyte of hard drive is it's nice. Okay, next step is OBS workings. And do this. It, pretty easy. You got your screen camera, your face camera, your voice audio, your computer audio. Stop recording, start recording, start and stop streaming, and pause. That's always nice to have. I don't know much about the rest of the stuff. Just settings. And this one I'm gonna want something along this line. MP4 is a good bet. Uh, graphics, whatever you have. I just, I don't have a dedicated card. Uh, this one is suggested by most videos I watched. And putting this anywhere between 60,000 to 40,000 is highly encouraged. And audio. Um, you can get more in depth if you want. Yeah, this is what I, I leave it on default. 30 to 60 frames per second is good, and this would be whatever monitor resolution. Editing. I use this ed editor. I don't sign in or anything. Real convenient. Um, yeah, this one. First, you go into your... Oh. I need to explain better. You click this. You click, you click, and then you drag down. And then I like to come over here and make things a little easier to work with. And in OBS, you can make it where it only records your game or whatever you're doing and you don't have to mess with the this this bit so just kind of find where I make it full screen about right here and then cut or use this one to cut it out or not. You can use your arrows up for left, down for right, and then the right and left for kind of more detailed finding. You can add text, you just kind of throw it where you want it, and come over here and you can remove and add text. Always good to have. You can select different files, like let's go ahead and split it and move half up, and it will it will prefer the above one, 
one up top. And you got your front and back arrows to fix mistakes. In audio, you can use the stuff they have. I have uh, sometimes. Yet YouTube doesn't seem to like them. So I just import my own that YouTube does like. Stuff I found by going into Google and typing music YouTube allows. And you got your fonts, just kind of plus, and you can drag them around and shrink and grow. I like this one. Simple, yet it gets the job done. There's way more options than I use. Like this one I've used once. You can start recording a snippet of audio and then just throw it right here. And I'm using it right now to put in something I forgot. If you want like YouTube short audio, I suggest transferring it onto your phone and uploading the short that way. You've got a large variety of pre-edited music. Works real good. And when you're done, you can title up here and hit export. You can title up there as well. Double check your qualities, frames per second, and then export. If you're not more confused, I'm happy. If it helps, I am extra happy. Please like, share, and subscribe. Oh yeah, and you can see how long your video's been going. I will edit this, so it won't be this long.